Hey, you guys, <laughs> we are here with, oh, oh that's wow. not King Esper. You are not King Esper, believe it or not. <laughs> it's DB died. It's DB dead, but you actually uh, named me DB died, like in the past tense. So hold on, it's no, Diva, it's D Diva dead, right? It's D-I-V-I-D-E-A-D. -D. Okay, uh, okay. We can go with the past tense. <laughs> And um, I died, so, like, <laughs> sorry guys, this is Diva Dead. Um, I've been saying his name wrong forever. Did I just say it wrong again? <laughs> I'm not gonna come. It's, <laughs> it's your show. I'm just. <laughs> um, welcome to the stream, guys. Um, go ahead and uh, introduce yourself for people who don't know who you are. Oh, nobody knows me. Um, thank you very much for they the show. They do too all. know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> first of all, thank you very much uh, for the show. This community definitely needed a, uh, you know, just like an interview uh, environment like this. Hi, guys. My name is DV Dead. Not Davy, not, you know, Debbie or whatever, but it's fine. <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, I am a uh, World of, of Divisions uh, lover. Uh, I played back in the days, like, uh, I was a Final Fantasy Tactics fanatic. So as soon as this game was kind of, like, announced, I just uh, uh, hopped right in 10 months ago uh, in JP. And um, it was a great experience. I played free-to-play -play, uh, free for quite a long time. And then, you know, when, global, when, I knew, when I saw the news that Global was coming out, I was like, okay, I definitely have to play this. And... Here we are, and um, I used to stream like every day since uh, Global Launch, and a little bit before that, but um, yeah, this is a great game, but it's kind of difficult to have like uh, good contents out, especially when there are people like Diggs and just like, you know, Prodigy and, uh, you know, Easy. There's like a lot of great, uh, uh, you know, content creators out there that I can't possibly complete. So it's just, uh, you know, it's just uh, something that's really uh, fascinating to be in this community, and yeah. That's about me. Um, you brought a drink as well. I did. Two comments though. First of all, people who have already been like who already have streamed so far uh -huh. have like these amazing hats, but I don't. I didn't really have a hat, so I just have this uh, <laughs> eye mask on. I had to differentiate myself because yep. I'm still a newbie here. And yeah, since uh, Easy was actually drinking champagne, as being an Asian. I'm gonna drink some soju, and it's 2 p.m. in Korea right now. I should be working, but for but for you, Diggs, cheers. Well, if you can cheers with me, that'll be great. Will they catch you? Um, I don't think so. I hope. Not. <laughs> cheers, cheers to that, though, my man. So you're all the way in Korea, huh? Oh, that was good. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's correct. <laughs> I don't drink soju with uh, these shot glasses. I actually drink it from the bottle. You drink it straight from the bottle. Is oh, that yeah. is that like super hardcore? No, it's actually just 17% uh, alcohol, so it's not too much. No, it's actually um, pretty okay. I'm not a drinker. What's 17% alcohol? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, a little bit heavier than wine, but it's manageable. It's tolerable. It could I think you'll like it. It could be worse, is what you're saying. It's uh, it's not a tequila. Let's, let's just say that. It's not a tequila. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have you on because you are very fun. Every time that I interact with you, you're in a whole bunch of people's streams. You are always a bundle of fun, and you are very similar to Bismarck in that you chase for that number one position, right? On, those, on raids uh have you ever succeeded well first of all um you need to okay so there's gonna be a really really long talk because as you know my uh, viewers know i love to talk a lot i mean if i do get one question i go on like 15 minutes so you only probably have like two questions to ask me here <laughs> so okay so first of all you need a giant community um yeah. it's based on guild or friends basically right but mm -hmm. um in, in Korea, we actually are the largest uh, guild community that's around there. We have like two guilds uh, with over like uh, 70 people on a group chat as well. Oh, wow. So being able to communicate with people, especially if you want to raid together and being in the same guild or in a, you know, friends list actually helps a lot. Now, this raid system is actually is a little bit tiring in terms of like getting the right people together and everything like that. Mm -hmm. And 
raids are all about like having the special unit. Okay, so for people who want to like argue with me, like, oh, Olandu can do it, or like uh, Severo can do it, and whatsoever. Yeah, Severo can do it's it. Not, <laughs> let's not talk about that. <laughs> let's not talk about that. But <laughs> uh, what what about uh, what about Ramada? I heard Ramada is really popular. <laughs> uh, it's, pos it's possible but no, we're not going to talk about that we're gonna okay talk about okay you're not you're effective. not getting to world first with ramada is what you're saying that's that's uh you could do that but it's it puts a lot of more effort into it uh -huh. so this game is actually pretty much designed to um you know being able to have that uh new character and then utilize it effectively for the new raids and stuff like that so whenever you pull a new character you always expect a content that's specified for that specific character and raids are usually like that so yeah. the the way i usually do my world first ones except for you know or Ifrit, because I didn't pull Irdua on purpose. Anyways, um, for the on first purpose? two... On like purpose? Why didn't you yeah, want her? I, I, I didn't pull on purpose because I had emo stand to wait. You know, that that's a little bit little bit too much of a money. So, okay, yeah, okay, okay, okay. It was a tactical decision. Would you, <laughs> would you want her, though? I do not really anymore, because my Venera is so OP at the moment. Uh, uh. In terms of farming, too. So weighing weighing a little bit uh yep. my pros and cons yep cutting off cutting off like uh 10 seconds for farming and spending like uh god knows how many visitors to pull it and to fully limit break it versus already having a unit that actually does farming pretty well can you stop being reasonable <laughs> 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 you know i am not a reasonable guy but it money uh-huh uh-huh yeah 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 <laughs> anyways a little bit back to the topic so uh for the choco raid and the, what do you call white clan raid uh, uh -huh. our guild was able to uh do the world first and um, the reason why i wanted to push for the world first is because yeah for the week-long event um you know the, whoever has the most uh medals yep. is actually a winner i agree with that but yep. The person and, and and that person always changes. You, you know the rankings like keep on changing based right. on like how how many hours people play and um, there are some like a uh, leeway cheats. I'm not talking about third party programs, but like you know two people can't have one account. They just like keep on going. Right. Other people right. arrives and stuff like that. So I knew that I couldn't compete with that. So I had to go with the most sanest way, which was actually <laughs> reasonable. Claiming... The most reasonable way. <laughs> Must <laughs> so, claiming the what do you call the uh, number one spot and then mm -hmm. just like you know um just like frame it and yeah. that's about it yeah. so that nobody can dispute right? right so the way our guild does it uh we actually check who pulls the new characters first right yep. and then the second gear check is ziza trust master i'm sorry it's always going to be an issue um, you gotta have a Zeta Trust Master in order to effectively. Wait, wait, do wait, wait. So, TMR. just to be clear, you can't bring Ramada or Tyrell, and you have to have Zeta's TMR. Not for <laughs> if it. <laughs> actually... <laughs> you know how to pull my strings. Okay, okay we, can, we, can, we, can, we can go both ways here. Um, so, for Ifrit, oh, one comment. Ifrit raid is actually the most easiest raids that you guys would have ever experienced in your life. So, you know, uh, your easy days are over. Everything else is just gonna be downhill from here on. Just FYI. Wow. Except maybe Final <laughs> Fantasy fourteen. But you know, that's You're not happens. pulling any punches today. People are gonna leave this stream crying. Oh, they already did. I got about yeah. twenty people already on that thing as soon as that came on. Like, this happen. So I said to Giant, Oh my gosh, we're gonna we're gonna have some troubles here. And yeah, we are having some troubles already. So it's already a done deal. <laughs> I knew this would happen. So Again, back to the topic. You're, you're jerking me around. That's what's. Quite, I'm sorry. Uh, it's it, what I do. It feels so good. It feels so good. It's like a little bit tingling sensation oh. in my ass. Oh. Uh, <laughs> back to the topic. So uh, we check for um, you know whoever has the latest unit and who can have that unit um, to like four limit breaks because you have to use that Zeta Trust Master, right? Yep. And then from there on, we unfortunately, um, you know, do a gear check and then say, okay, so you can come, you can come. Can you make on this time? Um, can you make it on reset? And then uh, we go from there. So uh, that that's the first gear check start. And then the second one that I do is, um, you know, 
Dolphins, Whalers, we actually have a crap ton. I'm not going to curse because your uh, mother's You're allowed to, you're but, allowed uh, to curse. My mom is like a sailor. Oh, I'll be I'll be <laughs> <laughs> you, need a, you, need a, you need a crap ton of skip tickets. So what I do is um, I just literally go to the story mode and just skip and just skip, 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 and then just uh, uh, do solo raids until I can't do it anymore. And then I um, invite the other people in, just like uh, you know, hey, it's time now. And then they'll come in, um, and they'll and they'll uh, you know go on a journey with me to become the world first. And that's how we do it firsthand. Now, in terms of like uh, you know, it's all about speed. It's all about efficiency. It's all about how uh, killing uh, the raid boss fast. And yep. then um, we already have the luxury of knowledge from JP, right? I mean, Ultima uh, game A. Uh, war, uh, what do you call uh, World, World Divisions? Without... Yep. Yeah, we have everything basically. So uh, we already know the weaknesses. We already know which units to bring and everything like that. And it's so from there on, it's all about like uh, you know the vision cards and just like um, the boss's timing. Because mm -hmm. as you guys probably have noticed, um, the boss's agility actually you know stacks up when right. its levels actually go up. So your strategy on like a uh, level 50 does not really work on like level 60 or 70 or something like that. So um, we adjust from there to there, but usually Ziza Trustmasters are usually a cheat key basically in this game when it comes to like being a world first. So yeah, that's how we uh, do it. And um, we invest around five hours straight, like yep. literally five hours. Uh, yep. For the first hour, it's like solo. So that I can Wait, get up so to, like, you you get to world first within five hours? Uh, white flan was like that. Um, the uh, choco flan was a little bit different because um, people didn't really knew the mechanics and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And um, it was uh, it was more difficult because uh, choco raid had like 150, right? So yep, yep. It was it was crazy, but from now on, it's all except for MR raids. So MR raids are level eighties. That's that's the top uh, what do you call uh, raid that you can get. And for the UR raids, it's always gonna be a hundred. So um, yeah, we we were able to do it in five hours for a white day raid, and that was quite an accomplishment. Wow, that's I'm crazy. I'm talking. <laughs> that, what are you here you to talk talking? Now. You're here to talk. <laughs> I'm going to lose my voice if I keep talking. More so, you. You're working, my man. You know, oh, for man. Koreans, if you're having a good, great time. You just had to drink soju. So, is that, oh, yeah, is that the, the way, rule? That's the rule. Shout outs to Coffee Still Around. You know about this? Please comment. I don't know <laughs> if Coffee was... Still. I think Coffee went to bed because he was on early because he's East Coast um but i'm sure he'll watch this when it's on youtube or something um sure. but yeah shout out for oh they pinged him maybe he is here <laughs> oh but he yeah is here. <laughs> <laughs> you guys you guys were talking a lot about soju in our uh meeting before this oh yeah oh yeah, yeah. i mean uh people like uh I, I saw some like uh people commenting on discord uh in your discord and some other discord as well yeah. like people do love soju my I dare say why people love soju for some reason. So if you guys come to Korea, you can taste like all kinds of sojus, like a peach soju or like a, a watermelon soju or oh even gosh. grapefruit. There's like all flavors that you guys want to like. So um, yeah, it's really quite you're amazing. gonna you're gonna make me go get some soju now and drink it on oh, stream because it's so good. Oh, it's and... pretty good. <laughs> one sip though, I mean, it, it gets you. It gets you. If you can't drink. Just one sip at a time. I mean, I can't drink, so I I mean, I'll get wasted on stream. Um, <laughs> so in terms of upcoming raids, how scared should we be of Behemoth? Okay, so uh, Behemoth is, um, the he has actually a lot of like a elemental resistances. Yeah. For people who are going to complain about, oh, we can do this with a land dude, go away. Um, it's actually wow. for piercing units, okay? Yep. Uh, so um, uh, he has about 25% piercing uh, weakness, as far as I know. So mm -hmm. uh, Victoria, uh, people who have uh, Victoria, definitely go for it. Uh, yep. Eileen, um, Aaron, is Aaron here? I don't know. Um, yeah, he can definitely use uh, Eileen there. But I do, am, I am actually concerned about her agility, though. So you probably might need a Ramza car probably for it, but that's just me. How, how do you um, feel about Warrior of Light Sub Dragoon? Uh, he probably needs a Zeta Trustmaster because if you have a sub job, then that means if you don't have any APs or anything like that, you need to miss a turn if you don't have APs because if you auto attack, that's a slash attack, right? 
Do you do you think still... Warrior of Light with Ziza's bells uh, could be one of the strongest options for Behemoth? It's... I'm not gonna disagree on that. It's uh, I definitely one of the things that I definitely uh, have learned uh, being with you uh, guys in this community is that there is a lot of different options. I mean, um, I'm quite uh, you know stubborn when it comes to like strategies and stuff like that. But so you're gonna you kick know, me? Are... You'll kick me when I when I show up into your party with Warrior of Light, Sub Dragoon. I definitely do. Yeah. If it's <laughs> world first, I definitely do. If it's world first, I definitely do. But if, uh, if it's like after that is like uh, bro. It's what so what if I showed up with Mont? Would you kick me if I had Mont in my raid party? If it's world first, um, okay. How about this? I would actually invite you, uh -huh. and I would actually kill you right off the bat. Wow! So that would save me. That would save us some time. You're gonna pull a Cuckington, is what you're gonna pull. That's what we call it on my stream. Uh... Oh, we, oh Cuckington! <laughs> <laughs> it's called in in my world. It's called strategizing for more turns. How about that? <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. There was a lot of people in the last raid who ran solo Miranda and solo Sid because they would get more turns with their unit that was stronger to solo higher. Right. And you also have to always consider like uh, what kind of vision cards you have because, yep. uh, you know, a lot. Okay, let's say, how about this? Like, can we agree like about 90% of the people are free to play players? Uh, oh, 90%. I would say 50%. 50 okay so i thought it was that would actually higher. be that would be a really interesting like to me i feel like a lot of players are minnows mm. but maybe mm. not i would say like 90 percent are free to play but i think i think you have to think about it differently right because i think there's players who are just like not in our immediate community right like there's players who are watching this stream and who are in our youtube community and reddit community i would say that community probably spends more money than the rest of the people in the world that play this game. And so oh, I would nice. say, I would say within our community, it's probably a 50, 50, but I think globally, maybe it is probably like a 90, 10. Sure. Sure. I mean, yeah, we could definitely put a poll. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah. I mean, just like a, you know, the, the reason why I'm asking that is because uh, you only have like a finite amount of visors that you have to pull for. So yep. that's why I asked Prodigy earlier, um, are you more interested in uh, pulling characters or pulling for cards? Yep. Now, if you're really interested in PvP, now here comes a dilemma though. If you're really interested in PvP, then yeah, pulling for cards is actually a must. Yep. Right? Yep. But in order to get the gears to be competitive for PvP, you kind of have to do the raid. Yes. And you kind of have to. If you want to be efficient, you kind of have to pull the what do you call new characters as well. Yep. So it's kind of like a um, really weird situation that Gumi has put us in. So yeah, I would for, agree. For free to play players, yeah, that you basically have to choose one or the other. Right. Um, for tentacles like me or whales like other people like. Uh, Wait, you're a tentacle? Uh, What's a tentacle? Tentacle is my term with Mav, Cornulio, and everything. Don't ask further. It's it's, it's is a it way is saying. it like a part of a kraken or is it <laughs> like are we <laughs> is this a hentai thing I need to know about like? Are we jumping MSR... right into digs after dark? Like, let let's go for PV thirteen. Uh, PG thirteen. Did I say PB thirteen? Okay, let's go. For I mean, PG I mean that works too. <laughs> Yeah, but um, for people who spend money, how about that? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. People who, people who spend money, um, the great thing about uh, the global update, one of the global update is that, you know, there is a cap now for yes. cards. So yeah. once you spend, um, you know, 12K, so you kind of have, you guarantee get a card. Right. And with the Whimsy Shop, you can guarantee... Getting the uh, shards. Get a, yeah, full, yeah. Just, just, just a full, um, you know, full card, basically, level 99. Yep. But for characters, though... Um, JP has recently released a 10% rate instead of the double rate. When really? The yeah. Uh, it's like about, about a month ago, basically. So the, they had a lot of complaints with the two, uh, double the rate. So they increased it to 10%. Probably because there's so many rainbow units, right? That's true. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So the newest units always have like a 10% rate now. So okay. that's kind of good. Yeah. But it's still it's still gambling. When we're like, when we're saying ten percent too, I just want to be really clear. You're saying when you get a rainbow, there's a ten percent chance that rainbow, not a ten percent chance of every time you pull. There's a ten percent chance to get that unit. It's a ten percent chance if you pull a rainbow, correct? 
as far as my understanding is, to be very, very clear, as far, yeah. my, uh, as, far as my understanding, yeah. um, the unit itself is 10%. Gotcha. So uh, I probably have to uh, maybe um, uh, like an Umbra or some other, I mean, I used to to play jp hardcore but not anymore to be really honest with you yeah so i'm a little bit laid back in terms of like the accuracy which mm -hmm. i'm going to admit so um as far as i understand though it's the unit that gets the 10 percent out of the whole what do you call um you are category yeah i hope that makes sense no that makes total sense um yeah. i can't remember what we were talking about we were talking about everything <laughs> 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 but basically but basically Back to the point of being a what do you call a world first raider. Um, I was actually surprised when you mentioned me when I was on uh, chat like a couple of days ago. Yeah, uh, that you didn't see me on the uh, on the list. Um, but yeah, it was a tactical decision because um, I skipped Irdwa and I tried with several. Yes, it works. But what I realized is that um, his agility is actually quite low. Yeah. So uh, having Diablos or Shiva whatsoever, it didn't really uh, match up to the UR characters that, for example, Miranda or, um, you know, uh, the calculator, Arithmetician or yeah. Ildwa. So while they were having two turns, I was only able to have like one turn. So but that's also that, good because yeah. you're not stealing turns, essentially, right? Well, the jamming thrust actually does like 8,000 damage, so it's not really stealing, but also um, I actually have a low accuracy rate, so uh -huh. I do tend to get misses. I've heard and that Severo was missing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I get around like a six, uh, no, a 40% miss around it based oh, on my uh, wow. personal uh, experience. So um, even if I were to have like tried for the, uh, you know, world first rate, it wouldn't be really, uh, you know, it wouldn't be really pleasant for my guildmates who actually participated, who had who had the latest units prepared, right? So right. Um, I was being really, uh, you know, logical in terms of, oh, hey, I only have this unit, and I just want to uh, become the uh, we we should become the world uh, world first again. So um, for me, it's all about preparation. So yep. if I'm not prepared, then I'm not going to, uh, you know, gun for something that I'm not really, you know, entitled to. I Are guess. you prepared for Behemoth? Sorry, uh, for um, Behemoth? <laughs> is it Behemoth or Behemoth? It's well, no, bay it's, it, it, it's Behemoth. <laughs> it's Behemoth because it's my waifu. Um. <laughs> Got it. Okay, so we're going to, so for this stream alone, I'm just going to go, with, uh, yeah, I'm just going to, I'm not going to be a smartass and we're going to go for Behemoth. So, okay, okay. Behemoth. <laughs> you can be a smartass if you want to be a smartass. There's nothing no, no, chat no. would like to see more than you take me down. Um, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> So um, I'm not kind of prepared yet at the moment because um, I don't have Victoria. Okay, so I do have Victoria, but it's only one limit. Uh, one limit breaks. So yeah, yeah it's it's it's, uh, it's impossible, as everybody already knows by now. Um, like getting a character to fully limit breaks or at least four limit break when it's not their season, right. then it's a no go. So that means I have to go for Graciela, right? Now. It really depends on my Emoshdam pull capabilities today. So easy, <laughs> um, you know, you triggered me earlier. Like, uh, so yeah, you're definitely gonna pull. Yeah, a uh, hundred thousand K. Wow. Oh That's yeah, crazy. from Esper. Oh man. That's, wow. Oh. Yeah. So um, yeah, es yeah. I, I called him easy. Sorry, Esper. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hundred thousand K. That's a lot of Izior. Yeah. Yeah, if he yeah. doesn't get that, uh, the world doesn't make any sense, just like this no. pandemic. So yeah. um, he's definitely going to get it. I'm going to gun with like 70,000 K. So it 70, really depends on 70,000 K. Oops, my bad. 70,000 <laughs> <laughs> 70, K will be my uh, bank account. Like, yep, uh, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> so, so Esper, Esper, I saw you in the comments just now. It's on. Um, whoever gets him the cheapest is the winner. How about that? We all know. Oh, Esper and Divi. Oh god. Um, <laughs> I think I dug myself a hole, a big old hole here. No yeah. pun intended. But, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna join our gill pull-offs? Fifty million oh, gill. Would you? Would you do it? Would you do it? I'd say let's go for sixty million. If you go on a go no, for 60 million, fifty uh -huh. is fine. <laughs> Yo, 60 mil, you still have 20 mil left. What are you talking about? I know, I know. Um, Div, we are at the end of our time together. I know. Would you like to let chat know anything before I piece you out? 
Actually, like I said, uh, I'm not really much of a fancy guy. I actually do, um, you know, just stream for fun nowadays. Um, back in the day, yes, I did uh, stream daily, and uh, I always appreciate. I, I, I want to say like a appreciation word before I go. I guess I always appreciate those guys like who actually come back, the OG people, so I call. Even though my schedule is not really uh, consistent, I come whenever I want to nowadays. <laughs> which, is quite, which is quite selfish. So it's uh, not yeah, really cool. I mean. If you were in a relationship, that's very selfish. Um, I do. I, I have like, a better relationship with my right hand. I mean, it's yeah. Like an right now, yeah. So like, yeah. Yeah. Does your does your does your right hand know about your uh, Vizior payments? Whoa! Whoa! She does not pay. She does not pay. Oh, right. It's the iPad. So she does the what do you call it? inch inch? What do you call oh. It? The so yeah, she does the work. I do the commands. So, oh yeah, man! Yeah, we all know who is the people. Who <laughs> so we should meet on this point. So are you saying besides your right hand, you're a happily single man, and in Korea looking? Uh, I'm not really looking because of the COVID, uh, COVID pandemic, and also like this game already sold a lot of my money. I need to recoup it back, but you know, it's just what it is. Would but, you um, Would you go out with like a sugar mama or a sugar daddy? Cougar, yes. Oh, absolutely. A cougar. But, um, You're looking for a cougar. You know, my my mom. My mom is looking no. for someone. Uh Helena can take me. <laughs> Helena can take me with a heartbeat. Have you seen her? Have you seen the new Helena that's coming out? Yeah. She can yeah. take she can take me. She can that's, throw candles that's, at me. That's a real waifu. That's not like you're not looking at little Leela. You're looking at a real waifu, is what I'm hearing, right? We're losing we're losing viewers so fast right now. <laughs> yeah, it's just plummeting. Everybody's like, what the hell are we tuning into? You know, they're ruining my children's lives. Um that's okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Again, but my last words my, my last words are because we're short on time. Uh thank you very, very much for uh inviting me. I never thought uh, you know, this would happen, but uh, yeah. thanks to you. No, um, you know, we love we're you. having this really, really fun interview. And uh, <laughs> it's actually really great that um, you know, even I am actually getting to learn a lot of new things as well. So yeah. uh, even Prodigy, Esper, um, Coffee, I mean, seeing some uh, really, really amazing guys that are out there, like uh, also theory crafting and everything. Yep. It's just amazing. Um, it just puts puts my ignorant ass in, it, in its place. So oh. kudos to you guys. Oh, um, well, as long as your right hand's not doing that, we're going to go ahead and transition to the pre-show guys, and then we'll either be getting uh, Bismarck up next or Justin. Uh, we are, we might take a little bit of an intermission, but thank you so much, everyone, and we'll be back soon. Ooh.